What if we are living in a simulation that was created in our ancient past? A simulation based on a code that was counterintuitive to the natural code of the universe. A code that keeps us trapped in a perpetual loop of life and death. Who built this system and were there beings in our ancient past who discovered the secret to breaking out of this simulation? In her movie Code 12, Investigative journalist Melissa Tittle has discovered a code that correlates with the number 12 and connects all these ancient stories, texts, symbols, calculations, and alignments. Could someone or something have embedded a code within our oldest and most endearing stories in an attempt to help those with the eyes to see break free from our simulated reality? In this video, we investigate one more of these ancient code connections. While researching this connection to 12, I often come across articles about ancient sites that feature concentric circles and are aligned to the stars. Like this article about the ancient Irish burial site of Newgrange, Note, and Dote, which are said to be older than the Great Pyramid. Here we see spirals and concentric circle patterns carved in stone and what appears to be a hub of a wheel carved inside the burial mound. Archaeologists don't know what these symbols are supposed to represent and disregard them as decoration. But from what I've discovered, there might be more to these symbols, a connection to an ancient code and a subsequent simulation that we've been placed in. Most ancient cultures built their society, commerce, math, and sciences on a base 12 system. But sometime in our distant past, this base 12 math was abandoned for an unnatural base 10 math. Some say because we have 10 fingers and toes, it was easier. But why the switch over if everyone had been using this other system? Tesla once said, if you only knew the magnificence of the three, six, and nine, then you would have a key to the universe. Is it possible that what is left behind at Newgrange and other sites around Ireland and all over the world is the remnants of an ancient culture that operated within the means of something we can barely understand today? On December 15, 2015, the DNA from two sets of remains dating over 5,000 years old in Ireland raised an interesting conundrum in the archaeology department at Trinity College in Dublin. It seems that some of the ancient farmers, possibly the ancient people who built the burial mounds such as Newgrange, Note, and Dote, were actually from Anatola, Turkey. Anatola is the home of Gobekli Tepe, a site currently dated over 13,000 years old. This startling discovery started to piece together a strange symbol that marinated on the walls of Newgrange, Note, and Dote, as well as ancient sites all over Ireland. This was the concentric circle. You can find the concentric circle depicted in almost any ancient temple that goes back more than 5,000 years ago. But what was the significance of this depiction? Why the concentric circle? What did it represent? And why was it part of most ritual centers? Something else that is really interesting is that the researchers found that Gobekli Tepe was built according to a very precise architectural plan. If one were to draw lines through the centermost points of three of these Neolithic structures called enclosures, they would form a nearly perfect equilateral triangle. When you look at the Newgrange note and dote, you can also see a triangle or a trinity as well. Even today, the idea of a trinity being sacred is represented by the trinity knot in Irish symbols. Some researchers have concluded that they represent the sun, the moon, and Venus, given their alignments. Also, another similarity between the two ancient sites is the alignment to Sirius. Newgrange has always been known to be aligned with the winter solstice, but further research also suggests the original builders may have built it to align with Sirius as well thousands of years ago. So here we have a story building of an ancient culture that might have brought some of their knowledge to Ireland to preserve it. After abandoning Golbaki Tepe and burying it, a culture that based their rituals on threes. More evidence can be found at Newgrange Note and Dote in the amount of rings in the concentric circles equaling three, six, and nine. 
Even during the equinox, at a location called Loch Roo, is a concentric circle of nine rings that is bathed in light, as well as crosses and ancient wheels. And then there's the story of the Red Woman, the woman that came from the Far East to create life on Ireland. The European megalithic monuments known as passage graves are generally associated with a powerful older woman known as a Kaliak, or a hag, or a witch, who in folklore is always the builder and creator of these megalithic burial chambers, so common in Ireland and along the Atlantic coast and seaboard. We can now say with some degree of certainty that this great female deity arrived in Ireland from the eastern end of the Mediterranean, where she was well known at least 10,000 years ago, and she has lived here comfortably in various guises ever since she arrived with the first farmers. A poem translated about the magical woman also states several times that with her were 12 elk, 12 breasts of eagle, and 12 measures of the richest milk. What was the importance of these numbers in the poem? Researchers connect her to Anana, Ishtar, and Isis. But whoever she was, her lineage crosses the world and her symbol is in every ancient site. You can find this even in the legend of Atlantis. Could the symbol represent a lost power, frequency, or connection that had been taken over at some point and turned into a different translation? Could what the concentric circle and its connection to 3, 6, 9, and 12 be reminding us is that at some point we are embodied a different understanding of the universe that we have lost. Why is it that we see these same symbols of the concentric circle and spirals in sites all over the ancient world, from hieroglyphs of Africa to Northern Europe and even Native American petroglyphs? There seems to be a lost story that united us as a species at one point, but has been lost to time. A story entrenched in the symbolism of the number 12. Could sites like Newgrange, Note, and Dote be a reminder for how ancient generations used to live before the simulation? and how we as a species can one day break free. I believe that if we can unravel the code of the universe left to us by our ancient past, we might better understand our current situation, and more importantly, find a way to break out of our self-made prisons and become the ascended masters of our own universe. Until then, may the truth be within you. Watch the movie Code 12 to learn the science behind the code on Amazon Prime right now. Subscribe here to get more updates and free content. That is, if the simulation doesn't get in your way. Hey, thanks for watching this special presentation of Code 12 Investigates. Think you found another Code 12 connection? Then I'd like to hear it. Drop a comment below with what else you think I should investigate. Together, we might just be able to unravel this Code 12 mystery.